Daily Break Monday, February 8th, 2021 Monday of fifth week in ordinary time Daily Break Monday, February 8th, 2021 Monday of fifth week in ordinary time The Holy Gospel according to St. Mark Having crossed the lake, they came ashore at Genesaret, where they tied up the boat. As soon as they landed, people recognized Jesus and ran to spread the news throughout the countryside. Wherever he was, they brought to him the sick lying on their masts, and wherever he went, to villages towns or farms. They led the sick in the marketplace and begged him to let them touch just the fringe of his cloak. And all who touched him were killed. The Gospel of the Lord. May you continue to give thanks and praise to God for all the wonderful deeds God has done for humanity as a whole and for you individually. Today, we read about the marvelous deeds of God. Our first reading takes us back, all the way back to the beginning, where God creates order and begins the process of preparing for the climax of creation. Our psalm is a prayer of praise of the God who performed the mighty deeds of creation. In the gospel, Jesus continues manifesting the good news of the reign of God by performing more mighty deeds, miracles of healing. In the verses preceding today's gospel passage, Jesus has multiplied the loaves to feed the crowd and walked on water to calm the sea, which was tossing his disciples around in their boat. Today, Jesus continues his ministry of announcing the good news by his compassionately healing the sick. The people's mere touching of Jesus' clothing brings a cure. The power and love of God is manifested in the person of Jesus. We sometimes take for granted the magnificence of God. God has created life not because God needed anything, but because God wanted to share the divine awesomeness with creation, particularly with creatures who could appreciate the miracles, wondrous deeds of God. Scientists constantly look to find order in nature, but some fail to realize that if there is order, that order had to be designed by a great designer. One of the laws of science is in poetry, which basically states nature on its own will degenerate and get worse, not develop and enhance itself. Yet, the fact that there is no much other in nature cries out for a planner who thought out of the whole process. To me, it is marvelous how nature is so orderly and we have found the signs of the rules and designs of nature. Creation and all the laws of nature are signs of God's love for mortals. And 
It is God's desire that they have a relationship with the divine author of life. In regard to the healings which Jesus performed, again, the purpose of the miracles were not to woe the people, but because Jesus cared and had compassion, suffered with for the people. Jesus allowed the healing to flow from the tassels of his clothing because he wanted individuals to experience the good news of God's love. Creation and miracles are still happening today, but often we have not allowed ourselves to be aware of God's signs of love. We attribute to other sources those wonders which are actually signs of God's hand reaching out and touching lives, bringing solution, healing, wholeness, and salvation. God is as much in love with us now as when God created the world and as when Jesus healed the sick and infirmed during his earthly life. We need to keep our eyes open for the power flowing from the love which God has for us. And as we see more signs of God's compassionate care, we should join today's psalmist and say, How many fold are your works, O Lord? In wisdom you have wrought them all. The earth is full of your creations. Blessed the Lord, all my soul. Alleluia. The portion of question or action for today. When was the last occasion that I took time to appreciate the other of creation and give thanks to the Creator for such wondrous deeds which God performed in bringing about such a marvelous creation? What miracles have I experienced which revealed God's love and compassion? How can I help others to experience the manifold works of God? Let us pray. Blessed are you, Lord God, worker of wonders, great designer of order. Through your goodness, you have always manifesting your love in and through your creation. You have designed the universe according to your divine plan. All the purpose of allowing your creatures to give you glory and praise and share not only in the mortal life you have given them, but also to have eternal divine life with your forever. We seek your pardon and peace for our taking a process of your creation for granted and not seeing your mighty hand at work. We ask that we may learn to appreciate not only the wonders of your creation, but also, more importantly, your love, which was the thriving force behind creation. May we give you glory and praise for your action in our lives. We thank you for sending your Son, who revealed your love in his ministry of caring and bringing solace, healing, wholeness, salvation to all who accept him and his connection, relationship with you and the Holy Spirit. It is in Jesus' name that we make this pray, for he is the divine co-creator with you, co-human with us, and our master teacher, who is living and reigning with you and your Holy Spirit, our one and only God, forever and ever. Amen. Chúa
Chúa là nguồn cây trâu cho con vui say trong bao đêm ngày. 